The first edition of 2023 baseball playoffs are here, and it comes in the form of rookie leagues. I already made a short covering the Florida Complex League and the Arizona Complex League. Those have tiny playoffs compared to the Dominican Summer League, which I would argue is the flagship rookie league. The Dominican Summer League has six divisions and 50 teams participate in this league. Although there is only one division winner and two of the best second place teams will receive a wild card spot. Six division winners plus two wild card teams equals an eight team playoff with quarterfinals, semifinals, and finals. All of these series are best of threes. Dominican Summer League Dodgers Bautista finished 42 and 11 and clinched the division. This is also the best record in the league. On top of having the best record, they have the greatest run differential in the league with positive 177 runs. We also have our first wild card team from here, Dominican Summer League Dodgers Mega. They finished 36 and 17 with a run differential of plus 89. These do- two Dodger teams are behemoths, and they really do speak to the talented ability that Dodger scouts have to fuel their farm systems. The Phillies' white team took the South Division, finishing 42-13. and 13. The Phillies also had a very high run differential of plus 151. They finished five games above the second and final wildcard team, the Angels, coming in at 37-18. and 18. The Angels have the least impressive run differential in the bracket with only a positive differential of 74 runs. I'm going to be honest with you, seeing the Angels in this position is extremely surprising given that their farm has been abysmal for years, and usually they are not known for their organizationally grown prospects. Colorado takes this division out of the entire playoff bracket, they have the worst record, finishing the summer season with 34 wins and 19 losses, barely beating the Angels' run differential by only having plus 76 runs. Astros Orange takes this division with a record of 35-19 and 19 and a plus 81 run differential. Astros Orange takes this division with a record of 35-19 and 19 and a plus 81 run differential. This division was a dogfight with the Rays, although they were able to pull ahead from them in the last couple weeks of the season and finish two and a half games ahead. Padres Gold took this division by two games with a record of 37 and 17. They had a very high run differential of 117. Pirates took this division with a record of 41 and 12. Although what's interesting about them is they won 15 in a row to snatch the division from the Tigers' second team. This is going to come in big time for the playoffs. They're now on a hot streak. This should help them very much as they come into the playoffs very hot. The way home field advantage works is in a three-game playoff falls a 1-2 formula. The lowest seed gets the home field for the first game and the highest seed gets the final two games at their home field. This is a standard formula followed by all minor league playoff series. Los Angeles Bautista is playing the Rockies and they have home field advantage. The Phillies have home field advantage against the Angels. Padres Gold have home field against uh, Mega. And finally, Pirates Gold have home field advantage against the Astros Orange team. The quarterfinals are complete and the stage is set for the semifinals. The Rockies were swept by Los Angeles Bautista. Pirates swept the Astros Orange. The Phillies also dropped game two, but won game three and they are now advancing to the semifinals. The Padres Gold have just won the series against the Los Angeles Mega. They came back in the last two innings in the 8th and the ninth, scoring six runs to take the series from Los Angeles Mega. They finally won with a score of 8-7, to seven, and they are now moving on to the semifinals, which begin on Monday.